All right, so this show here, it's by a group called Boys of Summer, and they all know each other from school and various places. And the theme of the show, they told me they're really good at generating hype. And I think uh, a lot of the works here really represent that in sort of the basic urban environment that they come from. So let's take a look at it. Alright, this is Jason, one more time, and we're here with Chris. Chris, what's your last name? San Pablo. Alright, we're here with Chris. This is uh, your work behind us, right Chris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us all about it. Um, the piece is called um, Every Man for Himself. Um, the work is, as you can see, it's, uh, it's like, a, like a wallpaper of butts. But what I was more interested in was the idea that, that um, a crowd can, like, can kind of like, form a pattern. You know, and then that crowds are like one of these forms that are sort of um, uncontainable. Like you can't control crowds, even though there's crowd control. So I really like the aspect of like what, what crowds can do. And so much of my inspiration comes from like um, just growing up doing graffiti as well as like being part of like the LA party culture and kind of those aspects. But like with the butts, I wanted them to be like more androgynous. So there was like, there's no, you can't really tell if there's boy butts or girl butts. And the title itself, like every man for himself, is sort of an androgynous title. Like uh, it could be either about men trying to get girls or men trying to get out of a club, you know, like out of a gay club, or it could be all these things. So I think more or less I wanted to make a painting that, that felt like some sort of sea with no kind of structure, even though it's very structured because the yellows like make your eye do this. And I mean, it's very formal, but at the same time, I want it to be fun and loose and kind of do that. Yeah, the, the formal aspects of it are. It really seems like painterly yeah, yeah, in the yeah. sense. It's very fantastic. What? Um, so how do you think? What do you think the show is all about? And how do you think this piece fits into it? Um, more or less like we like. The Boys of Summer, like we, we don't like to make it too official, like an official collective. It was, it's like a group of people that I've kind of been friends with. Actually, we've been best friends for the longest time, and we started a show, like during a summer called Boys of Summer. And the, one of the things that we noticed was summer shows in the art world aren't really taken too seriously. It's very kind of loose, but sometimes as a young artist, it's more fun. So um, just kind of taking that aspect of the Boys of Summer and like the title itself coming from like the Beach Boys and all these different aspects, and just kind of keeping the same group of friends with us. We decided let's just do it every summer and try to just do it and then um, collectively as a whole our work seems to make sense and um, I think like organically it fits together and we just wanted to make a really good fun like summer show and even the title New Empire is so serious but the work itself isn't which we really like that kind of play so I mean it was more or less about having a really good fun summer group show. That sounds great everyone all of you guys seem to be on the same page about what it's about so that's pretty great. All right Chris tell us your last name one more time. San Pablo. Chris that's Pablo. Chris San Pablo and that's what it's all about to him. Alright, uh, this is Jason again, here with another one of the artists in New Empire, the New Boys of Summer. This is Emilio. Tell us your whole name, Emilio. My name is Emilio Santoyo. And this is your work behind us, right? Yes. Uh, tell us all about it. Um, what, what's really going on in this work is um, it's called um, writing it, uh, Rewriting It All. And um, I kind of got this idea of being at Disneyland and watching the fireworks go off and wondering if a lot of the kids actually knew what Pinocchio was, like, you know, all the old cartoons that we grew up on. Yeah. And it's kind of like we're reaching now this time where it's like they're rewriting everything. Like there's like a new Pinocchio coming out. There's like, there's like new Tinkerbell going on. And uh, this was kind of being based off the cliche of like, you know, bank robberies where everybody would wear the vice presidents, the vice president masks. So what I was trying to do was, um, I did. It's a bank robbery with with everybody wearing masks of Ocean Eleven cast. And um, it's and the the funny part is that it's not the the, old, the original Ocean's Eleven. It's the it's the newer version, which is like Bernie Mac, Matt Damon, Brad Pitt, and all the other other hot guys that are going on right now. Why uh why the medium of watercolor? How does that connect to it back at all? Um, I felt that that was probably a better way to, you know, show the whole thing of what's going on. 
Pretty good. So what do you think this whole show is about, Emilio? Um, I believe New Empire is kind of just like our stable of just saying that, you know, we're we, we're, we're a group of friends that have been growing up together and uh, we're all from the Inland Empire and we are all... We're new. We're taking over. This is us. Well, that sounds fantastic. That was Emilio in his own words about what Boys of Summer was about. So, there you go. And we're back. Uh, this is Jason again here at Raid with another one of the new Empire artists. Tell us your name. Ryan Perez. This is Ryan Perez. And this is a, your work behind us, right? I'm sorry, I, I didn't... I didn't hear. This is your work behind us, right? Oh, yes, 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 it is, yeah. So, what's the name of this work? Tell us all about it. Uh, this piece is called uh, Some Kind of Truth, and it's from this detective series that I've been working on. Um, another part of the detective series includes uh, Law & Order SVU, and the character from that is uh, Detective Sabler, but for this X-Files piece, I'm focusing on David Duchovny. Um, so, th there's, a, there's a lot going on in this piece right here. Um, did you have any questions in particular? Or? Why Duchovny? What is the attraction to Duchovny? Why Duchovny? I mean, it's Besides not, the obvious. I mean, it's not so much the Duchovny as an actor, it's more so Duchovny as the character in the show. And Mulder. His character as being... Agent Mulder, exactly. I find his character being extremely mysterious and, and whatnot. Um, and another thing that I really like about this shot in particular, this is from, uh, I believe it's episode two, season two. Um, and when I was watching this episode, I felt like it had nuances that were very much related to film noir, um, which I, I was really uh, drawn into the sh cast shadow that was occurring when he was having this conversation with Agent Scully. Oh, yes, yes, very touch of evil. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but I mean, I. Like, I see Mulder as this mysterious character, but, and I try to understand him as a character and whatnot, but then I realize that he's not all that mysterious because he's a character that's written, so he, in some ways his character is almost a material that sort of builds into this, this show um, to give that feeling of mystery and stuff. I, so I treated him as a material to build my own image, which is how, if he's a material, then I could sort of treat him as a formal object, um, which is why I decided to cut him up and arrange this formal arrangement using color and all those other things. How do you think this piece fits into the show as a whole? What's this show all about? Oh, that, that's that's a big question. Um, well, the show sort of revolves around this idea of um, summertime. Uh, the way I think of summertime, which is it's a time for leisure. It's a it's a break from school, uh, academics, um, all those other things. Um, something that a system that every, all of us go through. Um, so. It, it's a time where we're free to do whatever we want. We don't have to rely on, on like a structure or a system or anything else. Um, which is, uh, I feel that people should be making art. I mean, I, I don't, I don't. I, mean, I feel like we all sort of fall into that sort of ideology where we, we just allow ourselves to do whatever we want, almost. All right, that sounds great. That's that's kind of echoes some of the statements of some of your cohorts. So there, so you're all on the same page. It seems like awesome. Tell us your name one more time. Uh, Ryan Perez. Ryan Perez. So that's Ryan Perez, and that's what he thinks the show's all about. So. All right, and we're back. And this is Jason, still at Raid. I'm with Mark now. Tell us your full name, Mark. Mark Batong Malake. All right, I'm not going to even try to repronounce <laughs> that. But uh, this is your work behind us, right? Yes, yeah. Why don't you tell us all about it? Uh, well, I... I try to find um, images or take images that are interesting to me and I just let I let them kind of progress naturally through the way that I work so if the image there's some incompleteness to it I'll fill in the gaps with the way that I'm painting or uh, yeah all right so we're saying this specific image oh okay yeah um, so I'm drawn towards more lonely images, uh, so sh this one has kind of an isolated feel to it. She's like just on top of a rooftop, you know, there's some mystery involved, and, and I think that 
that to me that's what's most attractive. So. All right. What do you? Uh, it's really great. What do you think this whole show is about? Uh, I think I think what's great about this show is that we're all a big group of friends and we have um, just really disparate styles and they can all work well together and have a conversation with one another in an interesting way so I think I think what's really great is just the way that um, something more fun and like crazy as like Chris's piece and more serious like Ryan's piece kind of there's those middle grounds that happen and and I think that we all occupy different spaces so all right, that sounds really great. That's uh, that's the boys of Summer New Empire in Mark's words. Say your last name one more time. Mark Batong Malake. Did you get that? Awesome. All right, so this is Jason back inside Raid Projects with Conrad Reese. Say hello, Conrad. Hello. And uh, he's one of the artists in the Boys of Summer, New Empire, here at Raid. So uh, this is your work right here, right? I made this. Great. Why don't you, uh, <laughs> why don't you tell us what it's all about? Is it this guy? Okay, so um, this is my Rush Hour piece because I'm very interested in that sort of uh, black American and Asian combo. You know, um, this is my vice cop. Vice Cop, uh, sort of these guys that are getting things done on their own terms, and I think uh, that sort of feeling of them hanging out and, you know, I guess uh, blowing some stuff up. I think that makes a lot of sense with not only... It's what all good buddies do, yeah, blow oh, sure, stuff up. Oh, sure. I think not only with my own body of work, but I think in this in this um, in this collective which all of us are kind of making this this body of work that's about summertime leisure and about having fun and just making something really exciting that's that makes makes sense to us I think so what, what would you say the whole show is kind of about I would say okay since we are called the boys of summer I think the show is about making intelligent work that not only makes sense with our own body of work but I think something that makes um, makes sense to what we think summer's about, and it's sometimes that is stepping away from academia, you know, and sometimes just making sense of our own idea of like that euphoria, that sense of euphoria that comes with summertime, you know, and then you know that I think that's like a, a wide range of that's a wide range of. Um, of ideas, and I think it really makes sense when you. Yeah. That sounds fantastic, Conrad. Thanks a lot. There you go. That's the boy from Summer out of Conrad's mouth.